So there we are. I do apologize. It just seems to be so popular that all the buffering seems to actually uh, put that out. So we're live again. If you've stuck with us, then excellent. Your reward is here. Scotty McClue is back live with you, Dinky Do. And uh, we'll build back up again. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much, folks. I do apologize for all these um, little technical things, but they are, of course, beyond my control. We're live on Facebook Live. Alex Duff's watching. Dave Hemsley's watching. And we're building up. Joanna K. Jackson's watching. I will always try and come back to you folks if for some reason we get a technical hitch and I lose you. But look at the number of times that the national television companies say we apologise for the technical problem there. Hi, Sal, says Chloe. Hi, Chloe, dinky do. You're going to talk about the type of food you're eating. You eat more like the Americans now, says Joanna K. Jackson. Yes, we're into the high fat we need to be and low carbs. Oh, there you are, says Jarvis Butler. Robbie Bean's watching and uh, David Steele, I'm watching, he says. Got you back, says Andy Brooks. It's only me left now, Scotty, says Derek McLaren. Not at all, Derek. We have many, many more with us. Tony Mack's watching. Dinky do to you, Tony Mack. I hope the rest of your course goes well and that we'll be hearing more of you in the, on the wireless, as I call it. The power card's back in the Vito, says George. Um, excellent stuff. Julianne Scott's watching. Dinky do, Julianne. Well done, Scotty, says Dave Hemsley. We've got you back. And Brian Wolfson's watching. A very fine broadcaster himself there, Brian Wolfson. Uh, there's a big name in broadcasting for you, and uh, dinky-doo to you, Wolfie. Lovely to have you with us live on the program. Now, how's the time? Yes, we have to finish in a few minutes' time. So, uh, share, 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 share. Hi, Scotty, says Dave McGuinness. Dinky-doo to you, Dave. Vera O'Hara, good evening. Good evening to you, Vera. Now, our main subjects for discussion tonight... Do you think Scotland would benefit from a new political party slightly to the right of centre, pro-independence, pro the SNP, pro the monarchy and pro wealth creation? So there you go. Have a think about that one. Toot toot, Scotty Zoot, says Monroe Scott. Thanks, Scotty. Good to see you again, says Brian Wilson. And you, sir, I say. What was the boat's name in the mutiny on the bounty, says George. Ooh. Mm, mm, you've got me there, George. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, it's bound to be. It's bounty. Bound to be some bounty. Yes, the bounty. Uh, Scotty McClure, are you a lefty new? Says Jarvis Butler. No, I'm not anything, Jarvis. As you know, I am apolitical. I just want what's best for people. Justice and the truth. That's what we are. So I would never be a lefty or a righty or anything like that. There used to be a good talk show. Until it keeps going on about Scotland, says Steve Burroughs. Not at all, Steve. That's only one of the subjects. If you want to change the subject, we've got Skype there, Scotty McClure. Come on and chit-chat. You can decide what you want to talk about. John Paul Preston is watching Dinky Do, I say. David McGuinness says Mutiny on the Bounty was the bounty, was the name of the ship. Isn't this a marvellous programme? Isn't uh, technology tremendous? Ah, got you now, says Esther Hart. Indeed, Esther, no problem at all. Can everybody share the programme again? We've got uh, 10 minutes left. Do you watch the programme about the liner, says Jarvis Butler? Yes, I did. And can you remember the difference between a liner and a cruise ship, Jarvis? Can you tell me about that? How's Nicola doing, says George Mullen? She's doing extremely well, George. Lol, says George. Gives a wave, Scotty. Cheers, says Margaret. Cheers, Margaret. Thank you, dear. You're the Scotty McLean. We've got the mitts on. Fantastic. Clean mitts, safe handshakes. How'd you do? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Thank you, do. So McLean's pie is available yet, says Christopher Anthony Smith. I will have a word with McLean's pies. As you know, I am the chairman of McLean's pies. So there we are. Lots and lots of conversations from you. And uh, so tonight's program, like last week, will be in two parts. <coughs> Never a problem. Uh, Kamala says, and five others have shared the video. Let them know we appreciate it. Of course we do. And uh, Julianne Scott says, no son, Scotty. So, no son, no son, Scotty. 
I don't know what you mean by that, Jerry. You'll need to explain yourself, my dear. Ten minutes to go, guys. We're exceptionally busy. Alan Brown is watching in Washington in the USA. Give us a Skype sign time, Alan. Scotty Dot McClue is a Skype. It would lovely, uh, be lovely to talk to you and to hear what's happening in Washington. And love to you and to Kelly and to your lovely, lovely family. Uh, Barbara Ann Higgs watching again. Excellent stuff. What do you think about Brexit? Says Kamala Seas. I actually put on Facebook, should we abandon Brexit if it's going to be a hard one? Should we just bail out of it and let it go? It would be very easy to do. All you need to do is say that uh, we felt we were misled by some people misconstruing the truth. Therefore, we feel that the vote should be null and void because we weren't given the facts. So there you are. And uh, you're feeling the cold with your mitts on, Scotty. You know, I like to have my mitts on, as you know, Margaret. I used to have the mitts on to cover the psoriasis, but the psoriasis is so good these days. I don't know if you can see the back of my hand. It really is uh, It really is pretty incredible. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Is, it's the bow, is it the bow of the ship? Uh, don't really know Scotty McClure, but enthused I was, says Jarvis Butler. Yes, a liner is built to go faster and her bow is different and she's a lot more costly because of it. I think it can add up to 40% to the cost of the ship. Tremendous stuff. Scotty, what's your opinion on the Donald? Him across the water. Well, they've got him now. And um, I think a lot of people are relieved that they don't have Hillary. And it seems that the Donald gets on very well with um, President Putin in Russia. And surely a cord is a great thing. So there you are. So I think everybody's starting to celebrate uh, the Donald. Black soap will help with that. Scotty's is Julianne Scott. Absolutely, Julianne. Um, it's genetic with me though, and um, I have to say that it is so much improved. I must be totally de-stressed. How good is that? Uh, so there we are. And um, any more questions you've got there? What bars did you frequent when you used to have a wee dram? Says George. Oh, a lot of bars. But to remember, I've travelled all over the country, George. So I've got favourite pubs that I can still go back into in any of the major cities in this country. I can go in. And if it's the same barman or the same landlord, they'll say, Hello, Scotty, how are you? What are you having? So there you are. Donald, where's your trousers? says John Paul Preston. Yes, I'm no doubt one or two people will be asking. Craig Bailey's watching, a very fine broadcaster. Dinky do to you, Craig Bailey. Lovely to hear from you. Ian Cook's watching, a very fine chap and a brilliant organist. So there we are. Um, up in Dundee there, Bonnie Dundee. Ian Walker's watching. I got the same, Scotty, says Julianne. She's got the psoriasis as well. Spelt with a P, P-S. Um, hi, Scotty. What do you think about the Russian hacking of Donald Trump's US election? If it's true, Tony. That's the thing. Remember, there's a lot of fake news about at the moment. So we need to actually see first-hand evidence of what's going on there. Do you think Michelle Obama has been the best first lady the Americans have ever had? Well, it's difficult because what about, uh, I mean, who was married to Abraham Lincoln? Who was married to George Washington? Who was married to Woodrow Wilson? You know, Eleanor Roosevelt, wonderful, wonderful lady. Jacqueline Kennedy, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, uh, you know, all that sort of thing. So there's been a lot of wonderful first ladies, but Michelle Obama certainly is a marvellous First Lady, and um, she made a wonderful speech that I, I listened to and watched yesterday. Tremendous. A wee tune before you exit the building, Scotty. Cheers, buddy, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Well, Jim, uh, if you're a piper, I want you to get on to Glen Calla Castle. Andy McCrory is watching Dinky Doo. Andy McCrory. Scotty, you're fading in and out of conciseness. Will I call for a priest? Oh, no problem at all. Uh, was loving it. The Queen Mary birthed at Long Island still. Yes, Jarvis. And of course, you'll know the story about the Queen Mary on the Clyde, who was the original Queen Mary and gave up the title and became Queen Mary too, so that the Cunarda could be Queen Mary. 
Uh, Billy McKee is watching. Louis Faber, I thought you start your shows at 10 p.m. Well, we did. Started at 10 p.m., so it'll be in two parts. The, slow, the show stopped midway. Uh, well, not midway, the last 15 minutes. Mrs. Lincoln, Mrs. Washington, Mrs. Woodrow. Uh, absolutely. Trump's going to build that wall and plenty of new wall marts also, says John Paul Preston. Well, there you are, job for the brickies. Um, have a chat about the old days with Tony McKenzie the other day. All the stories. Very, very fine man, Tony McKenzie. Great um, presenter, great boss, great programmer. So if you're talking to Tony McKenzie, you give him Scotty McClure's fondest regards and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, says Andy. Marvellous stuff. Craig, that is tremendous. Yes, he's a great man. As I say, do talk to him. I was at Liverpool Docks, says Jarvis Butler. Ah, well, yeah, the docks, yeah. Conversations, uh, fantastic, spectacular, says Jarvis. Yes, what is it in the United States? She could do 50 knots. <coughs> Sorry for spraying that. Did you know we dram at the New Year's Eve party, says Louis Faber. Check out the programme, Louis. It's up on YouTube, it's on Facebook, both the Hogmanay bash, we saw in the bells with the rest of the world. So have a look at these um, programmes, they're there. I'll pass it on, mate, says Craig. Thanks very much, Craig. Um, did you have a wee dram? Of course we did. Welcome back, Scotty McClue, says Richard Burnett. Are we just coming back in dribs and drabs, Richard? I wonder, how is the time, folks? We're getting a bit anxious. Oh, we've got five minutes left. Brilliant. Jim Gibb, can we have another 15 minutes over the time? No, we do a, an hour, actually, Jim, because then it's easier for uploading onto YouTube, etc., and other social media. Welcome back, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Loved your show on the old Scott FM, Scotland's finest broadcasting hour, Scott FM, owned by Scots, run by Scots for the benefit of the Scottish people. 50% uh, speech, 50% great music. Tremendous breakfast show, Robin Galloway. Then you had Scotty McClue on in the morning. And uh, do you know that 80,000 people put their wirelesses on when Scotty McClue came on? Amazing. Um, so there you go. Martin's back with us, Martin Monaghan. Um, so what have we got? Tony Mack. No, I'm not getting into that, Tony. Uh, did you see Moscow's New Year fireworks? What a shocking display. Very embarrassing for the Kremlin. And um, I I saw the new year coming in in Times Square five hours after us. I was still up. Scotty McClure, are you getting fed up with us, says Jarvis? Of course not, Jarvis. Don't be so silly. Good night, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good night to you, Steve, and have a great week, I say. Uh, Martin says, I used to phone you, uh, Scotty, on Scott FM. Of course, everybody did, Martin. Massive, massive program, and uh, there's probably going to be good news in the new year because discussions are going on at a very, very senior level. So you'll probably be hearing a lot more of me, uh, whether you like it or not. A wee tune, buddy, says Jim. What will I give you, Jim? So there you go. <laughs> um, oh, yes. We'll give you a wee tune. Will we? Would you like a wee tune? We'll see if we can get something. We're only knocking it up, of course. <laughs> According to your next answer, Jim Rudder. Uh, my phone's broken down just as I was going to give you a lovely phone call. Nice and Scotty, nice to see you back, says William Winsborough. Absolutely, William, lovely to have you with us. And we're going to have to go very soon, folks. What a fabulous show tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who has partaken in the programme. Tell everybody about it during the week. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure at 10. Live on Facebook Live, Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours. And uh, have a fabulous week. 
get on to all the Scotty McClure sites, the website. If you want to make a donation to us that would help the programme, please feel free to do so. Anything a pound, 50 grand, just whatever you've got lying about in loose change. Your Mr Martin interview was most inspiring, says Tony Mac. There you are. And uh, applauds the box, says Alex Duff. Thank you. You need your own radio station, Scotty FM, says William Winsborough. Hi, Scotty, says Heather Carr. Night, Scotty, says Esther Hart. And um, people on here think an accordion has to be played along with the flute. It doesn't matter. There's room for all instruments and all things on here, George. That was Brill. Cheers, buddy, says Jim Stephen Gibb. I'm going to have to dash to all of you. Have a great week from uh, everyone here at McClue Towers. I hope you've enjoyed the programme. Until next Sunday, 10 o'clock sharp, God willing, weather permitting, this is Scotty McClue saying to you, thanks for joining us, and dinky-doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. See you, loves. Dinky-doo! Scotty McClure has left the building.